Hey there, let's solve another SQL interview question. For this question, we want to find the workers with the highest salaries. Our data set consists of two tables, one of which contains information about workers and the other table contains information about the job titles. Now, our goal in this uh, puzzle would be to find the job title of the workers with the highest salary. The only thing that we need to output is the highest paid title or titles if, there, or if several titles share the highest amount of salary. Let's look at the data. These are the two tables that we have in our database, the worker table and the title table. The worker table contains information such as first name, last name, salary and so on. While on the other hand, the title table only contains the titles of the jobs of the workers. The worker ref ID is a reference to the worker ID in the worker table. So for example, for worker ID 1, which is for Monica, if we join the two table together, we can see that the job title of Monica is a manager. So. To solve this problem, we can begin by joining the two tables. Let's do just that. So this is the worker table. Let's abbreviate it with W and join it with the title table abbreviated with T. And as you remember, we want to join them based on the worker ID and the worker ref ID. The result will look like this. Now we want only those workers which have the highest salary. Now we can do that with a simple subquery. We would say that we want only those rows where the salary would be equal to the maximum salary. So we select the maximum salary from the worker table and that should be it. As you can see, we already have it. We just need to uh, make it a little bit tidier. Let's first only return the, basically the title and the salary. Now, it looks much nicer, but the question itself only asks for the worker title or worker titles. And to do that, we just need to omit this column and return the result. Now that should already be the solution that we are looking for. We can check for that and it, uh, it's actually the correct solution. Great! One more SQL interview question is solved. I will post the code on my website and then share the link to that post in the captions of this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll meet you again in my next tutorial.